Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to determine which of the four corners of that square is at the highest potential and then rank the rest of them in order from high to lowest potential. Obviously, the place where the largest charge is located, that's going to be the place where you have the highest potential. Since there's two Q of charge here, one Q of charge there, and no charge in the other two corners, by all means, here near that charge, you're going to have the highest potential. Potential increases as you get closer to a positive charge. So we can rate this to be number one. Then, of course, there's only three corners left, and only one of those three corners has charge, so therefore this must be the second highest. This is lower than this because it only has half the charge, so if you assume close to this charge, that would be half the potential, so this is ranked number two. But then how do we rank the other two corners? Well, the corner that's closest to the larger charge is going to have a larger potential than the corner which is farther away from the larger charge, and then the one that's closer to the smaller charge. So therefore, since C is closer to this charge than to this charge, and this one is farther away from here, we then naturally can say that C has the third highest potential, and D then would be in last place with the smallest potential furthest away from the large charge. And that's how we can determine which of the corners is at the highest potential and then rank the rest.